Hello there, welcome to Wastelands Raceway. Um, I'm Kinky Weasel and slightly different video today. Um, I want to share with you something that quite exciting. I have just bought myself this, which is a carrier bag. And in that carrier bag, look at this. There's loads and loads and loads of cars, Hot Wheels and others. Pick this up um, from Facebook Marketplace for 20 pounds and that's not bad by my reckoning there's a hundred or so cars in there um, and most of them are hot wheels matchbox and suitable for gas lamps that's quite a catch isn't it i'm really pleased let's go through it and see what's in there so first of all there's a load here that i'm never going to use directly at least for gas land stuff they're all way too big um, but i've got four minis of plastic minis which do you know what I think the wheels could probably be used for something or other so they'll be kept got a couple of these things no idea what they are but I'm sure I can use those for bits and pieces as well so uh, yep yeah, we'll be keeping those a couple of these which are uh, I don't know what they are maybe someone can tell me what they are but um, yeah they're just little toy transformer toy things I can't work out you go so whatever they are um, police bike obviously way way too big but it may be that there's some bits and pieces that I can scavenge off of there um, and the police car again um, my Audi um, yeah I'll, I'll be salvaging those with bits and pieces and textures and stuff but, Spider-Man bike, same story. Oh, yeah, it's probably not a lot usable in it, but you never know. Another one from the same set. Also got myself a, yeah, it's a Barago. It's a Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, it's a bit bashed around, and I think it's been squashed, but I don't know, there may be something I'll salvage from that. Or maybe do a restoration project on it. And a little clockwork police car. Um, which is fun, if nothing else. But that's the, the gash stuff that I probably won't be using as is or will be salvaging for parts. So first of all, we've got a batch of just the generic made in China stuff. Um, some are real toy. There's a Thunderbird there, a kind of a race car. That's quite a nice one. It's a F-Series Ford. The wheels are a bit shite, but um, I'll probably do something with these. A lot of these I can do something with. Um, some have been a bit overly loved, so they're a bit squashed. But they can make terrain pieces anyway. I've got this as a, as a Naboo fighter, isn't it? That's, I don't know who that's by, but it's a possibility to use that for parts, I suppose. Which is quite nice. I could use that tank for something. Um, so yeah, these, these sort of general stuff, they're all okay. Most of them are a bit bashed about, but um, yeah, so that's a nice little collection. Some of those are quite nicely um, convertible for gas lands. Others are suitable to grab the parts, but you know, they're okay. All right, these are quite interesting. I've got two Corgis and a Hot Wheels. Um, this is probably a bit out of scale, Model T Ford van, um, and it's a bit bashed about, but I can probably use that for something. Um, but let's put that one to one side because these are quite exciting. There we go, potential big rig there. That's a uh, Hot Wheel. What's it called? Oh, I don't know. There's a Hot Wheels car. Opens up to make a ramp. So yeah, that's going to be a big rig, definitely. Um, need a bit of work, but I'm sure it's achievable. And then this is a Corgi Volvo truck. Um, I think again, that's got potential for another big rig. So happy with those two. Now I've got three here, I don't know if they're anything special or not, um, I guess not given the condition, but um, if anyone out there does recognise them as being anything special, by all means do let me know. So we've got a, uh, a Matchbox London bus, Leyland bus, it's in quite ratty condition, but yeah, it's apparently in 1991 I think, or 1981. And I've got this one, which is... I don't know what it's called, I think it might be Fire Eater, it seems to have Fire Eater logos on the side, but 
That's, uh, I think that's an older one, 1978. So I don't know if that's, uh, anyone's gonna wanna collect this or whether I just chop it up for gas lands. Um, and we've got this as well, which I love. This is nice. This is a, a Chevy van. Um, it's Matchbox and it's uh, apparently 1979 again. So uh, I don't know if that's anything special or not. Again, I guess not because the condition is, is pretty poor. But those seem to be the notable ones. But certainly as I go through these, if anyone sees anything they think are worth taking note of, please do let me know. So here we've got 20 of the more, um, more fantasy type cars. Hot Wheels and Matchbox. I mean, some are the typical ridiculous Hot Wheels fancy stuff. I mean, that's horrible. But there are bits on there I can use. Um, others I could use for some of the more sort of sophisticated sponsors. Um, I mean, that, look at that. That's got some nice bits on that, hasn't it? Whether I use it or take it apart, that's, uh, that's a nice looking, nice looking fun car. It's Gironimo. Um, so yeah, so there's 20 of those which all are usable, I think, in some capacity or other. So they're uh, they're the more extreme type vehicles, but they're all okay. Okay, so here we've got a collection of the sort of the vans or chunky off-roady type stuff, some better than others. Um, I've got this one. This is uh, this is a matchbox and it's a it is a VW Beetle. But I like that. I mean, obviously, it's going to need a bit of a bit of TLC. But that's got potential. Probably a nice slime-sponsored car. Um, yeah. So I like that one a lot. Uh, there's a few others. I mean, we've got a Humvee-type vehicle there. That's that's pretty pretty usable. Same here. Another big old monster. Um, bad mudder. Um, there's a few others. It's got some steep van down to see these two here. They're gonna use the roll cages, etc. I'm sure something impressive can be done with those, something convincing. Um, so yeah, there's some, some, all of these I think are potentially usable, apart from, I mean, there's these two things here. The wheels are nice. There might be some bits that I can salvage, but other than that, um, two sand stingers, they're very badly knocked around. Um, yeah, maybe something I can do with them, maybe not. But other than that, I mean, I've got, put those to one side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 more usable vehicles in some way or other. Um, so yeah, I'm, I think I'm quitting already. I'm only about halfway through it. So uh, let's see what else I've got in here. All right, here we've got a chunk, 17 of the more sort of performance -y type cars, the sort of maybe Miyazaki, Mishkin type sponsored cars. There's some nice stuff in there that's uh, potentially could be made to look really good for gas sounds. I mean, I really, really like this one. It's uh, it's mad, obviously. But that's uh, apparently 41 Willys, but fairly heavily customized. But I think that could be made to look really quite something special in gas lands, maybe a performance car. Um, so that's quite nice. I like this one as well. Look at that. <laughs> that's just ridiculous, isn't it? But it's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's a Nash Metropolitan. Um, I can't see a date on it, uh, but there you go. I mean, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Well, potentially very lovely. A few others. These are, like I say, these are all performance type cars. I don't know that one made me make that a dragster. Um, Mid mill, uh, yeah, I mean, it's too badly damaged to, to, to be anything other than a conversion, I think. But yeah, 17 of those, which are nice, ranging for this thing. That's, that's got performance car written all over it, isn't it? Um, that is 40 something, again, generic. But yeah, there's some good stuff in here. Um, some nice engines, which could be salvaged if I don't want to use the, the whole thing. Certainly some nice interiors. Um, Yes, there's 17 more there, so we're doing all right here, aren't we? We're doing all right. Right, now coming on to uh, a whole bunch of actual existing cars. Um, there's some nice ones in here that I can see myself having lots of fun with. And we've got this, that's, I think it's an Impala, isn't it? Yeah, that's a 61 Impala. We've got, yeah, Dodge Challenger, there's a Maverick there. 
71 Maverick um, down to look at this, a lovely old classic BMW, uh, 2002 BMW. Look at that, that could be made to look pretty. There's a couple of Ford Focuses in there, there's one here. Um, got here, um, Dodge Dart. So there's some nice cars there, a couple of Ford Fiestas I think these are, aren't they? Yeah, so a couple of Ford Fiestas that I can, I can knock out. Um, so some really nice cars there, a couple of Ferraris in there. So yeah, these are all nicely usable. And I've got one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 twelve. Another 18 cars there, all very usable. So uh, yeah, this is turning into quite a stash, isn't it? Let's, uh... Okay, so I've got six castings here that are potentially usable for something or other, even if it's just scenery, but there's some planes, there's some hot wheels helicopters, there's a trike there. And here now we've got the last few bits and pieces that just make into the others that maybe don't fit into a category or I just missed some horrible, um, some okay. I mean, look, there we go. We've got a bone shaker, a joker bone shaker, but a bone shaker nonetheless. And you can never have too many bone shakers, can you? Um, not this thing, that's horrible, horrible, horrible. Don't like it, probably won't use it. Someone's gonna get in touch with me now and tell me it's eminently collectible, but at the moment it just looks like cack. Um, this thing here, it's a Hot Wheels five alarm. It's a fire truck, bit out of scale with all the rest of the Hot Wheels stuff, but if nothing else, it's got some nice bits and pieces that I could use as, as gribblies on other cars. Um, so yeah, that's good. And some other lovely stuff. There's a 91 BMW, I think it is. 94, 94 BMW M3. There's, what's this? There's a Nissan 350Z. Again, that could be made to look good. This weird and wonderful thing here. It's called Toe Jam. <laughs> I like what they did there. Toe Jam, yeah, I know I know where they're coming from on that. Um, I've got myself a Batmobile. Um, this nice little thing here, it looks like it's a VW Golf. No, it's a Volkswagen Brasilia. Yeah, it looks like a VW Golf to me, but um, look at that. Yeah, so there's nice bits. And this thing here, I don't know what this is. This is a Matchbox Jaguar um, from 1982, made in Macau. So yeah, I, mean, I don't know if that's collectible. If anyone out there is, is interested in these things or not, let me know. Um, so, one, two, can't discard that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So another 16 decent casting. That's got to be best part of 100 cars, surely, for 20 pounds. That's not too bad. Now, this thing here, I know it's out of scale, um, and so the vehicle itself is probably not usable, but I do like this turntable. And I'm just thinking that this could potentially be used for something, be it a turret or something else, um, you know, like a multiple launch rocket system or whatever, this is just my mind working over time, my geeky head working. But yeah, I can't grumble, can I? I can't complain. Um, I'm very happy with this haul. It's gonna take me forever to get through them. I'll probably never get through them. Um, it does mean that I've got no excuse for buying any more cars, doesn't it? But whether I use, <laughs> whether I go along with that or not, there's a different matter entirely. Um, but yeah. So favourites, there's so many in there, isn't there? There's so many of them cars have got potential. However, I have picked out a few. Um, this thing here, I'm sure I'd have a lot of fun with him. That could be made into some kind of monstrous thing or other. Maybe even a sort of semi-monster truck. But yeah, so that's the Hummer. Like it, like it a lot. In a similar vein, we've got this old Land Rover. It's a Matchbox Land Rover Discovery. Um, I like it, it's a classic shape, isn't it? And again, we can make that look, look good, I reckon. Who doesn't love an old 90s BMW? That's nice, I could have some fun with that as well. So yeah, that one. And there's a couple here, I mean, I know it's weird, I know it's ugly, and I know it's horrible, but it's also really fun, isn't it? I could really make that into something odd. Maybe even a Martian Federation racer take the wheels off, but but I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with that and doing something with it. And similarly, this one here, look at it. It's just, it's, it's, it's just all grrr, isn't it? Muscle and, yeah. 
I can again do something that will change obviously um, but that could be I think made to look something quite special like that a lot and also I am quite excited to be doing something with this obviously a nice big rig or something there'll be a hell of a lot of conversion going on on that though but yeah looking forward to that and also this one there's nothing overly exciting or special it's just a Volvo truck um, but again another rig I think is is coming on I'm not sure if that's what sort of scale is that a scale it's not bad scale is it no that works so yeah these ones here are probably the ones that I think I can have lots of fun with but there's so many others there's so many others in there that I can I can get my teeth into um yeah yeah lots of fun so up until now you just heard from me kinky weasel um but what I thought I'd do is bring in a couple of extra voices so I brought in my wife and my daughter so for the purpose of the channel we'll call them dinky weasel and <laughs> slinky weasel so come on in these are the cars that I picked up for um, £10. Yeah. And uh, have a look, see what you think. Go on, choose which ones you like. Do you go first or do I go first? I'll go first. I have this one. That Shot one? on the camera. That one? That one, because it's slinky green. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a nice car, it's slinky. Yeah. Is that flames on the side? It is flames on the side, yeah. Tacky. I'll have that one as my backup vehicle. Tacky. Yes, but tacky. <laughs> I'll sort of paint them up, that's fine. Backup vehicle, that's the... Um, that's nice, that's a 1971 Maverick. That's I've got lovely. a nail polish in that colour. Good. <laughs> I'd just like to note that this one looks like a rose's chocolate. Oh, it does! <laughs> okay. Or one of the toffee quality streets. Yeah, yeah. it does, you're right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay so the, the, go on then. Um, I like this one. Why's that? Because it looks a bit funny. Because <laughs> at first when I saw it laying there, yeah. I thought that that was like a Grim Reaper character in it or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I thought that looked cool. That's the engine. And then it's a nice colour. That's an engine. Mm, that's the engine. Why has it got that bit on it? That's an air scoop. That makes no sense, right? <laughs> I like this one. Why is that? Because I like the colour of it. Yeah. Um, but then you'd paint over that and ruin it. So I don't think I want to pick that one. I could paint it in the same colour. Okay, you paint yeah. that in the same colour. <laughs> and then I like this one because it's got a little smiley face on it. You like that one? I like that one. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Because I that is like the that one, one that I picked out earlier. It's ridiculous. Okay, thank you for your input. Thank you for that. Thumbs up. Thank you, Dinky Weasel and Slinky Weasel. I don't approve of the name, however. You're going to have to make an edit to that. Okay, I promise. I love you. <laughs> thank you. Love <laughs> you too. Bye. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So, um, three each. And of course, this one had to be chosen, didn't it? That's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. But these ones, yeah, I mean, they're all right. I can, I can do something with this, couldn't I? That could be a dragster type conversion. The engine's nice, I like that, I do like that. So that is, what's that one called? I can't see a name on it, but it's a Hot Wheels. I've got this one that looks like a chocolate. <laughs> so that is a, what's that called? Synchro. I can probably work on that, that's nice. Dad, sorry, yeah. kinky weasel. <laughs> yeah. I think the dog should pick one. I don't think that. I think the dog should pick one. Maybe, I'll give it some thought. Yes. <laughs> God. Interesting, they picked this one out, I already picked out. 71 Maverick, that's nice. I like that, I like that. Well this one, which I've got to agree with, is a very splendid looking car. Although apparently the flames are tacky. And this one here, I do like it actually. It's called Zotic. Um, but I think I can do something with that. And I'll have to do it in a sort of a lime green colour, won't I? So as to keep everyone happy. Yeah, interesting. So you have it, about 100 or so cars for 20 quid. Although, obviously, my wife thinks they were cheaper. <laughs> Let's just go through the pick of the day. So, I very much like this one. And this one here, that's a nice looking car. And wife and daughter have chosen these ones here. That's interesting. I think I can do something very Gaslandsy with that one, definitely. Moving on to this one, which looks like a chocolate from a chocolate box. And then back to 
my picks again there's the Land Rover there's the BMW and that's the Hummer so I think yeah they've all got potential as to when I actually get the chance to do anything with them it's a different matter entirely not to mention all of those ones as well and then these two which I think I could have some fun with anyway it's not a bad haul is it 20 pounds a whole bag full I am very very pleased with those what do you think